Hey guys, I'm with Bermari, the owner of Blush and Whisk. We're in Fort Worth, yes. getting ready to go to Restaurant Depot. She's got a new storefront slash commercial kitchen, and we're gonna take a trip today so I can show her some of the things that she should be upgrading and buying in bulk, even if she has a small kitchen that's not really open for retail foot traffic. More than we would from home, but not necessarily in retail bulk. And in a limited space. Yes, let's go do it. I'm like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> What I was noticing in your bakery is that you had a ton of different measuring cups and a ton of so different spoons. And so I would get rid of all those, use something NSF, use something that's commercial grade, and then you'll get the same exact measurements every time. Okay. So a lot of times when people are coming from a home bakery kitchen at home, they've got cute little tablespoons for consistency. You want to make sure that everyone's using the same one. take a picture one. of that. So this is my biggest hack. When you are training a staff, going from home to now in a commercial kitchen or a retail storefront, this is a white scoop. It's the largest scoop that they have. If you're putting cake batter in a pan, yeah. you could sit there and you could measure it or you could do it one time and mm -hmm. say how many white scoops of batter is going to go in a four inch cake pan versus a half sheet. You document it one time, it becomes a process, and now your employees, all they have to do is scoops instead of sitting there with a scale. Can so I get I would two, get of, two of these. Yes. <laughs> do they have another I one? I feel like they should pay me to work. They should. Pastry bags are something you go from home, you're using small 12-inch bags, but now you're making frosting in bulk. You have maybe different flavors every week, and so Although the fabric bags are good for like heavy duty, I think you should have a couple of these. This is a 24 inch. You can wash these, soak these in hot water, and they get clean. You can change out the tips, so different frosting tips. So I think you should have a couple of these. 15 cents per bag. This is so worth it. Just you're taking so much time and labor to refill these small tiny bags mm -hmm. that it's just better to upgrade to bigger bags. So most people start with half sheet baking pans, but they sell these containers, which turn your baking pan into Tupperware. These lids are really great. So this is my favorite section of graduating from a home bakery into a commercial kitchen. Again, we use like Tupperware and stuff at home. You need something that's commercial grade that's gonna seal, that's gonna be able to withstand like being in the freezer, being in your refrigerator. These are Cambro containers. The ones that I recommend you just get maybe three sizes. I saw that you had like smaller batches with like little leftovers. So maybe you need like three or four of these and all the lids. The next size I would go, which is my favorite, is a six quart. So this is a six quart container. It comes with the lids and literally anytime we make a bucket of frosting, it's gonna fill this bucket. So then I revised all my recipes to fit six quarts. You can put this in the freezer, you can take out half of it, put it in a smaller container, but all of your containers, you should work towards getting them to be uniformed. In the middle part of my refrigerator, I know that I arranged the shelves to where two of these can fit on top of each other. So now it's for stacking purposes and nothing else goes there except for frostings and fillings. So it just helps with organization. So I recommend a six quart and then you'll graduate to this massive one, which is an 18 quart. So if you're making frosting for like an event or something like that, these are cool to have. So fillings like raspberry puree, I want it separate so I don't have to thaw a big one mm -hmm. at a time. So great question. Let me show you what I would do. I'm going to use a pound of it at a time. So you make a big pot, put them in piping bags, and then you come over here and you get these. Ah. So they have these containers here that have lids. All your piping bags lay flat. And then you can have a small shelf in your fridge. And this is the depth of the fridge. Mm -hmm. So that's why these are so great. They're made for commercial refrigerators. necessity for the bakery yeah. 
rubber spatulas. They're heat proof and they're not cute, but they are NSF, they're commercial grade, and they're gonna last you forever. When you're making enough buttercream to use those big giant containers, then you're gonna have to have something to get them out. So this eliminates waste, obviously. These are heat proof, so if you're making preserves, stuff like that, you can use this. These ones you would just be using for buttercream. This is high heat and it's also super rubber and really big. These ones kind of break a bit. Oh. So I would do these and they're cheaper. Section I want to show you. Thermometers, obviously if you're boiling something, commercial timers, you can use your iPhone of course, but these are things that you'd want for your kitchen. I think a good scale, a digital scale, like this one, something to invest in soon. Just because if you're using one that's like for home use, maybe meal prepping or something, this is gonna last you forever. You won't have to really ever replace it. Obviously, flour by the 50 pounds is gonna be cheaper, powdered sugar, things like that. I know that everyone says, well, it's cheaper if I shop at Walmart. Yeah, because you're buying two pound bags of powdered sugar, but when you do the math on long-term what it's gonna cost you, you're gonna save a ton of money to invest more money upfront initially on the bigger bag, and it's gonna go longer and it's gonna be cheaper. So let's do some price comparing. Oreos, chocolate chips, melting chocolate, Reese's peanut butter cups, baking liners, all of this stuff is sold here and it's way cheaper than anything you've ever bought. So this is pan spray. It's specifically for baking, it has baking powder in it. And you're gonna use this with some parchment, which will get a box of parchment. You'll see how cheap it is. But this is like never ever will you have to use a spatula to get your thing out. I'm gonna get two because I just trust you. These gloves are even cheaper than if you bought them at Costco because this place, Restaurant Depot, is for making food in restaurants. Yeah. And I know that it's super expensive, like 37 for the case, but that comes out to you three cents per glove versus 10 cents a pair if you're buying them not in non-bulk. These sprinkles are super cheap. Marshmallows are a pretty decent price here because you can buy them by it. Like I did tons of Rice Krispie treats. Ziploc bags, big deal if you're using fondant, adding Tylose, like you're gonna have extras, so you're definitely gonna wanna buy Ziploc bags in bulk. You can get a Sharpie, date it, label it, that's health inspector approved. You just buy them here and they're super cheap. Cannoli shells they sell in bulk, beef chunks, Oreos. I got these here all the time. You can buy a whole case of those. Lady fingers if you make tiramisu, and obviously Nutella. You do anything with Nutella, this is the best bargain out there. Buy in bulk, people. Just two. <laughs> Big hack right here. This is what we came for, actually is the parchment paper. It's perforated right here. I would cut that out. There are a thousand sheets in here. Put this on top of your commercial oven when you are baking anything on a baking pan, if you're gonna roll out fondant, whatever, you can pull a sheet. Also, we got pan release. So all you have to do is trace your pans, fit as many of your pans on here as possible, cut like five sheets together, and then you can make a stack of five inch parchment paper rounds and you can put them in a baggie for organization. You gotta have parchment paper. I'm curious, I pull up what it would cost to buy it at Walmart. So let's say $16 divided by 410. Four cents a square foot. Okay, so four cents per square foot. This is 2,000 square feet for 44. Let's say $45 divided by 2,000. It's two cents per foot. This is like half the price. Get your basket. Spray bottles, uh, this is kind of a hack, but put your simple sugar in spray bottles. Stop brushing them with the things. This is just gonna be super helpful. Spray your cake laters and then put it in the fridge. So we've yeah. loaded up, we're gonna go check out. She's gonna be shocked, it's gonna cost a fortune. And then she's not gonna have to shop for this stuff for a very long time. So that's what you need to know when shopping at a place like this.
tell you right now from Mari, that's a goddamn bargain. Is that everything? That is everything. You won't have to be shopping for this stuff for months. I said a thousand, she said 800 something. I said a thousand only to scare her, and it's only $628. Thank you. You too. You too. Longer than CBS. Oh my god. This is what shopping with Janelle does right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell them, like and subscribe. <laughs>first shopping trip and we bought in bulk what was your experience I thought I was saving money and space by shopping smaller but just about everything Janelle is right it saves money to buy in bulk it was half the price half because the price, yeah. when you're buying something and it's like three cents but here it's one and a half cents that's a huge savings over time right. so Yes, it kind of broke the bank today a little bit, it hurts, but it was less than we thought it was gonna be, yeah. and you don't have to come back for a very long time. Yeah. So, high And five. best part, saving money. Yes! <laughs> so if this video was helpful, we went shopping, we bought in bulk, and we're teaching you how to go from home front to storefront, let me know in the comments below, and if you have other questions on how you can save money or make that huge transition, then let me know and we'll do a future video for you. See you in the next one, bye.